Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm back with another review, another recap, a love and hip hop season. What is it five? Cause I, I, I really don't even know, and I really don't even care. And I'm gonna tell you why. This is not gonna be a full review. It's just gonna be a recap, and recap is gonna. I'm gonna be doing my new thing. Where I'm gonna be picking a certain situation, two or maybe three. Yeah, maybe all the situations that happen in the episode. But it's not going to be a full recap. I'm not going to be going down because I'm just going to give my opinion. Because watching Love and Hip Hop tonight pissed me off. <laughs> Peter Mother F and Gun. What the hell? Okay. It's going through your old a mind, and I'm trying not to touch this. How old are you? How old are we again? Like, you have the nerve to get mad at Amina because she told Tyra about your dirt, but then you want to come home and get mad and flip the script like. She didn't already know you were you effing around. Do you want to come and pack your bag and in the garbage bag? So you so you you're telling me you're telling Amina and you're telling the viewing audience of VH1 Love and Hip Hop New York that you were turn this around for a little small thing to make it, to make some kind of point and leave your your wife and your child who you don't give a damn about. Like. Come on now, like, what is really going on in your, in your brain? Uh, do you have it all? Are you getting a check? Because I'm not understanding a man of your caliber and a man of your age should not be this damn confused about what you want in your life. What is the deal? Like, I can go on and on and on about a rant about your life and your relationship and the way that you do stuff. It's just really damn ridiculous. And then you want to get, then you want to get all sentimental and then you want to come back and apologize no we, we don't need your apology she does not want your apology grow the f u c k up that's what we want you to do own your bs i'm in love with two men boy go sit down somewhere because you're not a man go sit down somewhere i have several seats in a stadium somewhere seriously you need to have some seats put some pads down Get you a drink because you need, you're going to be there while you're in timeout. Because I'm like the stuff that you do is just like that's why I cannot sit here and watch Love and Hip Hop because the show should not piss me off this much. It really should not. It really should not. Like how like how what the f I know eight year olds who are more mature than you. That's ridiculous. And that's the that's the type of father you're gonna to be to your newborn child. That's the father you're gonna to be to Tara's kids. That's the father you're gonna to be to those seven other baby mamas that you have. Is this where we at now? Building a whole another generation of stupid ass kids because of a stupid ass father who can't make up his mind of who he, who he wants to be with and what he wants out of life. Is that where we at now? That's where we at now. Playing tricks and games. That's where we at now. Really. So I don't blame Amina for finally growing the hell up or knowing her worth to take her and her child to Germany. And I hope she never come back. I hope Tara will never let you see them kids. Because I wouldn't damn near dare let my child see a wife who had the, the type of caliber as you. Is that how you want your child to grow up and be stupid like you are? Really? That's where we're at now? Like. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to grasp. Because I'm just not understanding at all. And now you want to get mad? Now you want to be sorry? I, and then you're going to have the nervous time out if you take my child to Germany. I I want to get a divorce. You gonna sign the paper before you get on the plane, which I will. I will go to the attorney office right then and there, print out them copies, have your ass sign it. Me and my child will pack up this apartment and we'll be go to gym. You will never see that child again, just because you want to be a dumbass. 
You think you're just gonna cheat? You think you're just gonna play with women hard? Cheat? Have several baby mamas and think, and then want to come back and play victim? Like they didn't done you wrong? Why? Because your business out on Front Street? That's that's what the problem is. I'm off. I'm off of the, I'm off of this subject. Yandy and Mendeecee. I'm just going to say this to Mendeecee. Um, I'm going to need you to grow up also. I really, I'm going to need you to grow up also. And your soon-to-be wife is always right. The way your uh, assistant is speaking, she's speaking out of turn. If she's going to be your assistant and within your music gig, then she needs to be just that. She does not need to be involved in your affairs. Just like you and her and Yandy were going at it. She should not have came out of nowhere. She should have stayed at the desk or wherever she was. She should not be involved in your in no, none of anything she's doing. And if your if your wife or soon to be wife has a problem with her dress, her attitude, and the way she's carrying herself, it needs to get fixed. Of course, you're gonna have a. Of course, a man and a woman working together is gonna have. It's gonna always be a problem because you don't have a lot of men that have the caliber to make sure that assistant, which happens to be a woman, to make sure that certain parts of her body are covered up. So at the end of the day, you can't fault him. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna have a business or if you're gonna be some mogul or whatever, then you need to get that together. And if your wife have a problem with it, you need to fix that. Especially if you, a happy home is always better than no home. In a situation with the kids, if she's asking you to do more, then you need to step up and do more. Because at a time, I can, I know you should be able to look back. There was a time where you could not be there. That's the time you were behind bars, and Yandy Smith w was handling your kids that you did not have with her, and she's handling the kids you have with her, with, and handling all your baby mama affairs. So. For you to have the nerve to say what you said on tonight's episode, you had your nerve. You had a lot of nerve. But I'm going to need you to bow down and get that together. Because with this um, gun charge or whatever charge you have pending over you, Yandy Smith will be doing the same thing she did a couple of months ago. So get your stuff and get your life together. Diamond and Cisco. Okay, now, Cisco, now you diamond and moved on and she's over your BS. Now, now you want to be over her. Now you want to do this and you want to do that. You sh Now you're trying to fight for her. For what? For what? Now nobody is messing with you. Now you can't have the cake and eat it too. Now you, now you just want the ice cream and the ice cream and they melted and Bluebell is out of business. Nobody's trying to deal with you and your shenanigans. You another sir, a person who needs to grow up. Y'all, y'all, y'all are too damn old to be playing these childish games in these this and this Erica Mena and Shard Moss thing. I'm just not buying it at all. I kind of see a little goodness. I see an attitude change from her on social media. She's not spazzing out the party. She's not doing and Bow Wow is kind of treating her good. And I mean, I see a change in her. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. But the way this thing came about, the social media thing, and then all of a sudden, excuse me, she's overseeing. I'm just not, I'm just not buying it at all. I'm just, I'm just going to be that viewer, viewer, and that person who's just going to say, "Hey, I'm iffy. I'm just going to see how this plays out. And if it plays out, and I end up being wrong, then I'll come back and make a video that I was wrong. But right now, I'm just not buying it at all. I'm just not seeing it, but at the end of the day, I kind of see chemistry, but just, you know how things happen, it's just like, no. So, this has been your recap. Basically, relation, the relationship recap of Love and Hip Hop, I don't know what season, and be down in the um, box, the, um, the title box. And this is it. I want to know your thoughts, how you feel, on, feel about tonight's episode, and how you feel about the relationship that's going on with um, Diamond and Cisco, Peter and Amina, and the situation with this. Oh my God! He just, oh my goodness! Ugh. Peter and Amina and Mendeecee and Wendy. This has been recap with your boy Jay Durrell. Like, comment, and subscribe.
follow me on all my social media accounts, which will be in the more description box below. Hit me up, follow me, I follow back. I want to know your thoughts, so leave them down below.